This may sound strange, but it's making sense in my head. I feel like I'm in a movie, and I'm one of the main characters, and I have a choice to make. Either I do what is staged to be the thing that I shouldn't do, or I do the thing that is staged to be the redemption at the end of the movie. I was approached last week to do a sponsored engagement, which would require me to travel for six days. But then Monday happened. Jedi's hoarse and congested and still on the path to recovery. And now when she coughs, she cries because her throat has to be raw. <laughs> the problem is it's a great engagement to do, but it's going to take me away for about a week. That's good. She's had an appetite throughout this entire illness. I just feel that if I leave, which I need to do, I'd be leaving you alone. But you're not really alone because mommy's here, but sometimes you call out for daddy. And the last thing I want to do is leave you alone, especially when you need me most. But I kind of need to do this other thing. I don't know what to do. Do I do the other thing that I need to do? Or do I do the thing that is seemingly the most important thing in my entire life? And that is stay with you. I'm not saying I want to stay around to clean the floor, though. That's what <laughs> mommy's doing at this time. It sounds like you have to go work in order to pay for the doctor to help her feel better. But you know, it's like a movie, right? The dad has to go work, and it's the dad who has to work, but it's the dad who looks like a bad dad because he doesn't stay at home with a sick child. You'll come back if anything happens. Yeah, but I don't want anything to happen. I don't want to be away if something happens. Mm -hmm. I'm split. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be responsible. But in this case, being responsible is mutually exclusive. I can only be responsible in one way, not both. When I was little, my dad had to leave for work for six months. He said it was very hard. He thought about us every day. Normally, I wouldn't think anything of doing this if Jedi was in perfect health, but she's not. Sure. I just don't want to exacerbate her condition, and when she starts crying, it gets worse because she's having a difficult enough time breathing as is. Yeah, that's how I feel. Uh-oh. Should I stay or should I go? Have you ever seen the movie Hook? No. Okay, well, that's the type of movie I'm talking about. The dad works so hard that he loses sight of what it is that he's working for. Oh. Oh, but I don't think you're there. Yeah, but I may not be there there, but I'm kind of in the same position. See, she's already forgotten about me, and I'm standing right here. She's calling for you. If I had a choice, I'd stay. And maybe that's telling me everything. Maybe it's not worth it to go. There's not even much I could do if I was to stay. Except for telling Wicket off. I wish this was a simple decision to make. To their credit, the sponsor has been amazing in communication and understanding my position. I kinda wish this was a movie. As much as we are well past it now, I can't understate just how devastating Monday was. But I have a choice to make. Which way do I choose to be responsible? I know Diana could handle Jedi on her own. There's no doubt about that. But what if something happens? What if something that we can't predict happens and I'm not there? A few friends have offered to help and we will absolutely be taking them up on their offer if only because I don't want Diana to be alone. I never do. We usually have a friend with her when I'm gone. I'm sure things will be fine, but I also thought things were going to be fine earlier this week. This morning Jedi got a little frustrated and of course she's in pain, so in the process she seemingly stopped breathing for a moment, but it was more like just trying to catch her breath and she couldn't because her throat is full of phlegm. I do trust that Diana can handle it. It's just that I don't know if I can, <laughs> that is to say, handle being away at a time that I know that being there is just as important. I suppose now would be a good time to ask what you would do apart from picking up packages and fruit on sale. 
You are not making this decision easy. She was excited to see me come home. And when I went back out to the car to get something else, she got a little fussy. But Daddy came back, and she's happy again. Jedi hasn't quite learned how to clear her throat, but when she does, her voice really works. She sounds fine right now. She looks fine right now. She feels fine right now. But then we'll wait another 15 minutes and it's a different story. Every time she coughs, it makes my stomach drop. It's like she has a hard time breathing. Have you heard it? Oh, yeah. That's kind of what has me concerned. You can't avoid the camera, hon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get this done. Thank you. I'm pretty sure she's got a sore throat at this stage. The only thing we can do to address it is turn the bathroom into a steam room. Oh, I put some warm water in her sippy cup and she liked it. Thanks for taking a second right now to tap the like button before you watch our next story and for interacting with us across social every day. Your support is always appreciated, and if you'd like for us to keep sharing our daily story with you, we hope you pledge on geekfamilyfun.com. You'll get even more of what you love from us. Advanced screenings, behind the scenes, and most importantly, you'll ensure that we can keep doing this for you. See you tomorrow!